Go. Welcome to FT Records. My name is Roy Lee Reynolds. My name is Tony Bruin. And we're here to talk shit about some albums. That's what we do. We just listen to some shit. We talk shit about it. We talk shit about shit. We talk shit about shit. Uh, that's what we talk we... good shit about albums, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes not good shit. Uh, we do old albums, new albums, whatever we feel like. But 2020 marks the 10-year anniversary of Deftones' Diamond Eyes. One of my favorite bands slash albums. I just, I was very excited for this episode. Yeah, and uh, Deftones is a band I'm gro I've grown old with. I'm a day one fan of these guys, and I just like them a little more and more every year. Yeah. So many bands from the mid-early 90s uh, I lost interest in, or they're just not a band anymore. Pantera's not a band anymore. So... But Deftones has changed with me and stays with me, and they're just always there. And this this is the band I'm growing old with. How many bands build in like in, in appreciation over the years? That's I think that's a good question, right there. Yeah, How yeah. How many real bands actually just build appreciation after they've done their shit? You know and this mean? is one of those bands yeah. that you hear some douchebags go, they're doing shit since yeah. Adrenaline, but you know not many. And, and you know Deftones fans like their new shit you know they like gore their newest one. I do like gore but this one is yes. absolutely my very favorite and uh it's this or white pony yeah i'm yeah i'm a day one white pony yeah. fan when everybody thought it sucked but i didn't i loved it but uh, i'm going to read the tracks to this and then we're going to talk about it and see what else we want to talk about yeah. but the tracks are diamond eyes royal command control You've seen The Butcher, Beauty School, Prince, Rocket Skate, Sex Tape, Risk, 976 Evil, and This Place is Death. Tony, what were some of the highlights of this? What do you dig about Dude, it? Honestly, there's only like two tracks on here that I'm not going to say I loved. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I saw The Butcher, Command and Control. Beauty School is always going to have a special place for me in my heart. Yeah. Because I remember watching Death. I've seen Death Tones live a few times, and like, I don't know what it is about Beauty School. But I don't know. It's a light show they put with yeah. it, and just the, like the way they just delivered that live uh, version of it. I love Beauty School. This whole album is fucking great. Yeah, I like. Uh, you've seen the Butcher. Like, That's a good I, one. I, I like the intro guitar riff that they just build and build and build on. Like I dig the simplicity of that. Prince sent me somewhere. Yeah, like, Prince. Prince like took me somewhere when I was listening to that. I was like, this. Man. Yeah. Another thing about music for me is like this album. At times of the songs, just took me different places in my head. And I can't think of other music that really just kind of like sends me to a different spot mentally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as we were talking, you know, talking and we were drinking beer and whatever, listening to this thing, like, yeah, that the Prince, Rocket Skates, and Rocket Sex skates, Tape. Yeah. Like, that, you know, the with the, the single Rocket Skates, uh, we just kind of like, just sat there. Yeah. You know, like, I was like, oh, what? That's a first for, for FTR, actually. Yeah. We usually just yeah, it's like, talk, yeah. yeah, they had our full and undivided yeah. attention. And, uh, you know, and that was cool, you know, I dug it, and uh, that that's kind of what I dug about it, man. Um, what are, and, and with Deftones, like, what's your history with Deftones? Deftones, for me, I'm, I'm a late bloomer when it comes to Deftones, because a lot of my friends in high school, like, they were metalheads. So I was listening to, like, Whitechapel and, you know, Rob yeah. Zombie, okay. and, and, like, Slipknot and Korn, like, those were the more mainstream, but I still loved Korn and Slipknot. I still, day one Slipknot, and I love Slipknot. Um, but Deftones was a nice surprise. I don't want to, like, I have, like, a, a way I want to describe Deftones, but it doesn't mm -hmm. fit them. They're, like, R&B metal. Kind of. That, and that, I, I'll buy that. I don't I don't okay. want to sell it as that, because they're better than that title. Yeah. But that's what it feels like. Because, like, yeah, fuck Reagan and Bush. Yeah, exactly. That's what R&B stands <laughs> for. Reagan and Bush. Let's take hip-hop, take out all the cool shit, and just leave the whack part. That's what the fuck R&B <laughs> is. Don't listen to that shit. Oh, man. There's a lot of R&B I really like. They're, yeah, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it stands for Reagan and Bush, and fuck them. That R and B, yeah, fuck yeah. them. That rhythm and blues shit, though, I'm okay with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this man, uh, Deftones just—they're just so unique to me. They were one of those first uh, sounds when I heard it. I'm like, this is definitely different from what I've been listening to. Yeah. But it still like just goes so hard. Yeah. This album especially just goes hard on every emotion it wants you to feel. It just that like, you feel it. I love it. I love this album. Yeah, and uh, these guys, they, they came out of the, the new metal, I hate yes, that term. I, I do Being that. a new metal refugee that I am, uh, you know, they were a part of that, that corn Lent Biscuit scene. Fucking but they wisely, apart. immediately separated yeah. themselves from it. And they didn't tour with those bands a lot. They didn't get on, 
you know, they were uninterested in family values tour and shit like that. They they just didn't give a fuck. They're very much so when when they twisted away from kind of that sound, even though they're really the only new metal uh, album to me was around the fur. Um, when when they got away from that, like it just worked, and and they've kind of that's how I know they've grown old with me is that they they've twisted their sound enough to still. Be, you know they kind of made their own to way. match my taste and and the way they've changed is just is still kind of what I want to hear now as yeah. I'm crashing into middle aged them they they've crashed into that too you know we're not I'm not an aggro teenager anymore you know that I was when adrenaline and around the fur came out I think that's what comes out with yeah. appreciation also yeah like they just they're not the same message as you thought they were when you were younger also and yeah. it's like can you can kind of go in more like I would say they almost took a bullies route where they just want to make their own thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, kind of what we did. Yeah, shameless plug. Yeah, and they and they did. Um, but anyway, yeah. You got any last thoughts on it? Um, thoughts? No. I would just urge everybody if you're not a, a Deftones fan but you do like rock and metal, uh, definitely check the Deftones out. All of their shit. We're doing this because it's 10th anniversary and it's just a goddamn good album. But uh, last thoughts. Great album. Go listen to it. Yeah, listen to it. You can go check it out, get your own copy in the link below, down this way. You can also get our album, this is our comedy album, Bullies Volume 1, in the other link below. Shameless plugs, we're not above that. We're not above them at all. We're comedians, that means we're just a bunch of whores. Yep, and, uh, broke whores. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Roy Lee Reynolds. Tony Brun. And we're with FTR. For the record. FT Record, here we go, let's do it this way.